Breaking news this time out of Worcester. A verdict is in for the trial of a Massachusetts man charged with causing the death of a state trooper in 2016. The judge handed down a guilty verdict just a short time ago. Worcester Mass News reporter Caroline Powers is in the studio with all of the latest breaking news. Caroline? Beth and Chris, testimony in the case against David Naguna wrapped up on October 29th. This afternoon, Worcester Superior Court Judge Janet Kenton Walker handed down her ruling, finding the defendant guilty on four of the six counts against him. Prosecutors say on March 16th, 2016, David was high on marijuana and speeding on the Mass Pike in Charlton when he hit Trooper Thomas Clardy's parked cruiser. The Commonwealth also says marijuana was found in his car. The defense argued that the 33-year-old, a legal medical marijuana cardholder from Webster, had a medical issue that caused a seizure and made him lose control of his vehicle. Less than an hour ago, Judge Kenton Walker issued her findings on the six charges against David. He was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter, operating to endanger, operating an uninsured vehicle, and misdemeanor motor vehicle homicide. She found him not guilty on two counts, felony motor vehicle homicide and motor vehicle homicide while under the influence of drugs. Two charges related to marijuana impairment. In this case, there was no evidence that Mr. Chaguna's appearance or demeanor at the time was indicative that he was high on marijuana. While there were notes in the UMass hospital records that some emergency room personnel detected an odor of marijuana on his breath and body, Andrew Castellana, the life flight medic, did not detect any odor on Mr. Chaguna, nor was there an odor of burnt marijuana detected in the car. In addition, the presence of an odor on the, of marijuana on Mr. Jaguna's person would be expected given his use of marijuana. However, I do not find it sufficient proof that Mr. Jaguna was high on marijuana. Trooper Thomas Clardy was 44 years old and an 11-year veteran with the state police. He leaves behind his wife and seven children. Colonel Kerry Gilpin, head of the Massachusetts State Police, issued a statement on today's verdict. It says in part, quote, this verdict cannot bring Trooper Clardy back to his family, friends and colleagues, but it does provide some sense of justice by holding the defendant accountable for his actions that day. David's bail was revoked this afternoon. His sentencing is scheduled for November 21st. For Western Mass News, I'm Caroline Powers.